Hi everybody, good evening, this is Jean here. Um, my little uh, quilt show and tell today, I'm in my front room, um, I'm going to do, I'm going to be showing you some quilts that I've made and that one is in progress and that hopefully you'll be able to learn something from. Not quite a tutorial, but you'll be able to put on your own thinking cap on a, of one of the blocks that we have mastered together, hopefully. But I want to give you some ideas um, for a very quick, simple, easy quilt that you can whip up. It looks something and it looks a little bit special. What I'm talking about are panels. You can buy pre-printed panels. Usually from the, sh the shops, they're about 22 inches by about 44 inches. You can get a, um, a pre-printed panel that is also about 36 inches by 44 inches for a larger scene. My go-to place is eQuilter.com. They literally have thousands of panels. But whatever your online shop or your shop is for, for panels, have at it. Go get some. They're inexpensive. They're between like $8 and say $14 for a big panel. It takes the, it takes the, the, um, the design element for, for you beginners because it's a beautiful image that will make up the body of your quilt. But having said that, as I said before, a million people could buy your, the same panel. So how do you change it up a bit? First of all, I'm going to show you the basics. I had bought this panel. I believe I bought this from Hobby Lobby. And what is it? It's a basic pre-printed image of, of fabric. This is about, I think this is a little bit bigger. This is about 30 inches by 44. It's a wall hanging. I have just backed it. Uh, I put a hanging, a hanging sleeve on the back. I have to stitch that down yet. All I've done is back it and bind it and quilt it. I've done, you can't really see it, but I've done a free motion quilting stitch on this to make it, when you're up close, to make the image come alive. But all I did was literally cut it off the bolt, back it, and bind it. That's a basic panel, but how pretty. Holiday season's coming up. You want a little wall hanging, attach a hanging sleeve to the back, and you have an instant wall decoration or a little throw quilt. Um, but that is your basic panel. Now there's tons you can do. What I like to do is when I get my panels, I like to look at them and I like to build on them. Now here's one. My son Maxwell's going to help me sh show you. This is a quilt I've made with a sunflower pattern. Hopefully you can see it. This is the panel that I, I bought. Now all I did, easy, 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 was I drew from the panel, because that was so vibrant, all I did was add colorful borders. Can you see that? All I did, I made it a fairly large quilt, and I've taken, what I did, I don't, what I've done is, if you can notice that this panel is yellows and, uh, on this side and blue and red on that side. So I just flipped my color chart. I put the yellow borders on that side and I put the purple and blue borders on this side. Just a visual something. For you people know a color wheel, color wheel, color wheel. Go get yourself a color wheel and you'll see again that the designers have done most of the work. So I've just taken my cue from the panel and I've built on it with, with borders. And I, I just went along and I didn't, I, I thought, what, what size borders? Little borders, large borders, a smaller border, a larger border, and my quilt was, was done. Very, very easy to build on a panel. I backed it with a lovely bright orange, but again, very simple. And then I, I quilted this because there's so much interest in the panel. I quilted it very simple on my machine with a, with a, with a wavy, not a zigzag, like a wavy stitch all the way across. Just a wavy stitch to make it, to make it um, you know, to, so your eye travels around. But that's all I did with that panel. I added borders. And that's what most people do. Um, and I'll show you. Here's another one. If you want to put that over there. Here's one I've done. Again, 
I've just add this is a panel it's sweet it's like um calligraphy alphabet this was the panel right here the alphabet but what I did is I looked for it didn't actually come with it I mean it didn't it wasn't a fabric line but these these striped tan golden and black um, striped fabrics I actually found and I coordinated it with the body of my quilt. Um, you can't really see. I actually, I actually on this on this side. Come forward. I actually did a little, which I like the little snowball. Um, it's called a snowball block quilt block, um, and that's that's this little bit here, which I'll, I'll be doing. But then I just filled it in with other bits of just to, to build on it. So this is another idea for a, a simple, plain panel. You can make it bigger. And then that backing is a, um, like an old-fashioned telephone, black telephone print. Well, I have another panel here that I wanted to show you. Actually, these are two quite of the same colorways. Um, this is um, an oriental panel, if you can see this. Um, it's, this is the panel, and w again, what I do is I'll, I'll look at an image and I'll, I'll think of where it came from or, or um, what look I'm going for. And if you know, in, in Japanese, Oriental, Chinese, um, Asian art, a lot of things are asymmetrical, meaning it's on one side. So that's what I did. I built on this panel with these blocks and I and the and the border over there the black in an asymmetrical style because that's very Asian inspired again I took my this was just the panel so I took my cue for this sashing from the sky here and then all of my fabrics which were just scraps um, I took again I pulled it from the image itself. So there's purples and tans and oranges and salmon, bright blues, pinks. But that's all in here. So you, you have to sort of step outside your comfort zone, your box, collect some scraps, and just see, oh, that's a green. That'll go with that. And then I did the black, and I, I free motion quilted. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit later some of the details when I have my camera of a, a free motion quilted a feather stitching on that one. So again, and then, then I backed it with a very pretty all over, very bold print. One more I have to show you that I've done. Again, this is, this was a, um, I did, again, I did this um, lopsided. This is just a, pr a panel. It looks like it's an intricately quilted, pieced, you know, uh, applique perhaps. It's just the panel. I think it cost eight, $8. What did I do? I just started building borders and borders and borders. And then I got to the end and I thought it needed a slight relief with some white in it. So I added this real pretty fabric here of some white. And I just build on the, oh, I just did borders on this one again and then backed it with a very beautiful batik. Now I just want to, okay, I just want to show you how panels come when you, I have, I have hundreds of panels. <laughs> I'm getting through them, but this is how a panel will come, a full size panel. Um, let me see. I just pulled this, yeah. You probably have even seen that if you belong to a Facebook group, quilting group, and people quilted their panels. This is just one example of peacocks. Now I have made beautiful peacocks are very um, awesome to, uh, to 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 make in quilting because the images are so lush and so beautiful, and you can make fabulous quilts um, using the purples and the the, the teals uh, colorway. And I have made about four quilts. Uh, four peacock quilts that I have sold, um, but then they then I think one of the the um, fabric companies had black and gold peacocks, uh, and I bought that panel and I built on that with some different blocks. 
Um, but this is the, about the regular size of a panel. Now, that is art. That is art in itself. The, the fabric designer has done all the work. As you know me, let the fabric designer do the work. That is a beautiful piece of art. So if you're, if you're, not, if you're a beginner, buy a panel and get some pretty backing fabric and go to town maybe practicing a free motion quilting. If you don't want to do that, just do it like a grid. That's all. Just do, just do straight stitches right down and across. That would be super because you're seeing the image. You're not going to be seeing your quilting as, as such. You're going to be seeing the image. So it's a really nice way to practice your free motion quilting. Just going around. And if you mess up, who's going to see it? So I... I love panels because they're inexpensive, they're effective, um, and they're just fabulous. Now, that's how, one, that's how a lot of them come, this size. But what you also can get is, I just grabbed this, you can get panels that are small. You can get a, you can, this, is just a this is just a little bird. Um, I, think there was, I think there was six little images of bird images in this, in this you know, I think I've used a couple in another couple, a couple quilts. So you can get panels that are pre-printed with little, little images, six, six inch images across the whole thing. You might get 24 little cats or cows or something. Um, these were, these were like 12 inch blocks of a beautiful, of a beautiful bird image. So you could literally cut that panel out, add another block here and here and have a small little quilt. And it's, it's just beautiful. Uh, it's just, they're just fantastic. So I'm just giving you an idea of if you're not familiar with panels, go to, go to your shops, go shop online, and, and your, your world will be opened up. Now, oh, this is another one, yet another one, before I come to my other one. This, is, um, this was a panel, and it came like this. Now, what is it? It's, again, it's, it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, there's 15 beautiful different images that you can cut out that give you enough allowance of beautiful florals. So you could have a quilt. This is, there's 15 of them. You could have a quilt with another 15 set, maybe even solid blocks. Um, that would make 30 squares, right? Same size. And that you could have um, 30, you could have five rows across. And, and six rows down. Is that right? Five times six. Five times six is 30. Yeah, so, so you could have a row five by six and have an instant quilt with a beautiful image. So what I'm getting at is there's a million ways that you can use your, 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 um, your panels. I just wanted to show you this one because I think you'll be interested in this. Just finish this. My 10-minute quilt block, one of my very, very first videos that you know is my go-to block. I love it. I love it. It works up this big or it can work up this big. So what I did is I actually took my panel, took a panel, and very Asian, very different um, purple royal reds, and I made, I just finished this quilt top. And what I've done is I've made these uh, my 10 inch my 10 minute quilt block in five inch blocks and I've just added them along I, I put a little I put a bit of the red sashing which I pulled from the image I pulled the red and and because it was so dark purple reds I wanted to brighten it up and so I've added the white as a splash and then I dulled it back down with the purple and the red of my outside border. But there is blocks that I did again. This is all the scraps I've had. Actually, they were um, some charm squares um, of what I did is I, I looked at my color wheel, green and purple opposite on the color wheel, purple and red next to each other on the color wheel. So, so again, the color wheel's done my work for me. The fabric designer has done my work for me. So in these blocks here, I did a green frame for my 10 inch, my 10, my 10 minute quilt block with a purple inside. And I alternated it purple with a green inside. 
just all different. And they're all different, they're all, oh, they're all different fabrics. Um, oh, my family. Um, they're all different fabrics that I used in these quilt blocks. And then I thought, well, I wanted to add a bit more red, so I actually did four red cornerstone, corner blocks up here, but the top, the top row is purple and red with the white, So as, as is the bottom row. So that's what I'm working on now, and I know a lot of you wanted to see me how I incorporated my blocks that we've been making into a panel. So as I said in our other video, what have you made? You've made, you've made half square triangles, pinwheel blocks, and if you've experimented making them smaller, or even larger, grab a panel and start putting them around your, your panel um, to make your panel bigger. This isn't a very big quilt, it's like a throw size quilt, um, uh, but, uh, but it's an ordinary panel that's been taken to the next level. Now you'll probably be saying, oh, but what about math? Have that figuring it out? Don't ask me. So, so as I was saying, I, I made these, these blocks here and these were, the, 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 uh, this is the block here that finished at five inches approximately. I had to trim it down so you go from point to point. But these little, this, this red here, I started out with three inches. Remember I said you had to have four fabrics that were the exact same size? So these, these four were three inches. And then the center, the center, um, the center frame was my five inch charm square, remember? And then you fold it over. You have to, if you're just tuning in, go back, way back to one of my first videos, the 10 minute quilt block, and see how it's constructed. I constructed it, it with 10 inch squares. One block turns out this big. I constructed it with eight inch squares. These, this ends up with, this, uh, this I began with, five, uh, with three inch squares. Three inch squares and a five inch square in the a five inch square in the middle and then a little uh, then a little scrap i think i've got two two and a half inch scrap in here so you have to figure out how to construct that but this is what i did on this quilt i wanted to show you how i've put in my uh, blocks you've seen how i've done borders easy easy but you can you can go one step further you can do a pinwheel block an hourglass block a nine patch a four patch but you say oh I, my math, I, I, it, doesn't mac, it doesn't match up the size of my panel. Well, that doesn't matter. This miraculously did for some reason, but it, my doesn't usually. In fact, it didn't on quite a few of them if, I, if you could see them up close. So what I would do is I would start whatever, whatever size block you have. If you want to do, I put a little sash in here, but you just start at the top. And, or, or, and then, you know, you start at the top and the bottom, and then if they don't match up, you put a hunk of fabric in here, right in the middle. Just make sure it matches. And then, and then you have, no one will see it. It will look like a design element. I just happened to, on this quilt, miraculously, as I said, the, my, my blocks, my blocks actually matched up when I did the sashing. Unbelievable. But it doesn't usually work out that way. Truly, it doesn't. So I just put, sort of put a, a, a fab piece in here, or I may divide it into thirds and put a piece of fabric in there. So you have your blocks and you're not messing with math, like, oh, how, wh how many, you know, what size blocks to match this? I don't, I don't do that because it's just too stressful. And this has to be fun. And I think panels are fun. And that's my little thing for today. I did want to show you what I was working on. Um, I made all these blocks up, and then I went to my extensive stash of panels, and um, I found this purple. I found this purple and, and red one. But as I said, I wanted to pretty. I wanted to um, lighten it up a bit. So there's my little thing on panels. Um, I, I again, eQuilter.com, fabulous selection. There's tons, Fabric.com. There's tons and tons of stores. Um, worldwide that has a beautiful selection of pre-printed panels. So find one, um, you can either just put a, a backing on it and, and hang it up, or you can add some blocks, or you can just add start adding some borders to it, and um, you'll be so thrilled because you'll have something that has worked up so very quickly, and you can see, you can see good for your hard work. 
Um, so I just wanted to share that with you guys today. Um, I'm, my next tutorial is going to be my oven gloves. <laughs> if you want to see my oven gloves. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do a thing on uh, oven gloves. But I just wanted to show you this today. Um, so I'll throw this up on YouTube now. And um, i got to go make dinner. So um, anyway, thanks for coming into my front room um, today. And uh, I, I wish you all the best with your panels. Thanks, folks. Bye.